Today marks the first time in 26 days that the public has seen the First Lady. Melania has not made any public appearances since she was hospitalized last month for a benign kidney condition. As speculation swirled around her absence, the president tweeted this this morning, quote, the fake news media has been so unfair and vicious to my wife and our great First Lady Melania. During her recovery from surgery, they reported everything from near death to facelift to left the White House and me, ooh, imagine that, for New York or Virginia, to abuse, all fake. She is doing really well. Four reporters spotted Melania in the White House last week walking merrily along to a meeting. They never reported the sighting because it would hurt the sick narrative that she was living in a different part of the world, was really ill or whatever. Fake news is really bad. To which my colleague Joe Scarborough responded, quote, I agree that it would be vicious and unfair to lie about a loved one having a facelift for the purpose of causing pain and embarrassment. Mr. President, can you imagine anybody would be so cruel as to do such a thing? Joe, of course, referring to the president's attack on Mika Brzezinski nearly a year ago. Everybody's still here. Eddie, you and I um, are lucky enough to be part of the Morning Joe family. I remember that day. The president sent out oh, wow. um, a tweet. He wrote, I heard poorly rated Morning Joe speaks badly of me, as if he doesn't watch. He watches every day like a slave. Don't watch anymore. Then how come <laughs> low IQ crazy Mika, along with psycho Joe, came to Mar-a-Lago three nights in a row around New Year's Eve and insisted on joining me. She was bleeding badly from a facelift. I said no. Um, the president dishing out insults, and then I don't really know a lot of mainstream outlets that put together that list he assembled in his Twitter. We certainly on this program didn't cover a single theory for her absence from the public arena, but now we are because the president tweeted it. Yeah, I mean... First of all, uh, he, he cries harm and injury when it comes to him because he's a narcissist. He's not really concerned about the harm and injury he, deal, he dishes out. So let's just be clear about that.